Alright, so what I have here is my Peltier cooler. Um, if you don't know what a Peltier is, it's a really cool little device. You can see the Peltiers, I put JB Weld and I jumped JB Weld it onto the heatsink. But anyway, this Peltier, it's a really cool device. And um, basically what happens is one side gets real cold. This is the cold side. And underneath here is the hot side and if you used correctly you can actually make the hot side um, you, you can cool down the hot side with like a heat sink like this and this side gets pretty much freezing cold like six degrees cold so anyway I have two fans here they're blowing air this way through the um, heatsink which is a real boost in efficiency and it lets me just put down the heatsink like this so I have it connected to a, a nice lab power supply and let's turn it on um, just some background info this is a um, 46 watt Peltier and these fans operate at 12 volts and draw about half half an amp so um, everything runs off at of 12 volts but I'm gonna probably run it at 7 because this is uh, 7 or 8 because it's only a 3 amp power supply All right. so well, let's just get a uh, I have my IR temperature gun right here let's see it's 81.9 degrees let's see temp like surface temperature on the table is around 71 okay so it's it's pretty hot right now um, I imagine it's just drawing the heat because I was on it before. Alright, so let's turn it on. Alright, so now, as you can see right now, it's drawing 11 volts. Right? It's got constant voltage, but it's kind of lacking in the current department. Alright. That's pretty good. Let's leave it around there. I think that's a good sampling right there. Alright, so 9.5 volts. Right, so now we have this running. So let's just see what uh, the heat sinks out right now. It's at 79.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's get a reading on the cold side. Ready? 4.8 degrees Fahrenheit. 3.6. Can you believe that? That's insane. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Ready? Oh, wait, no. No, I'm on it. There we go. 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit. This thing is ridiculously cold. Alright, now, let's do something fun. I'm going to take my little eyedropper, get some water. I'm going to show you exactly how quick this co freezes water. Okay, now we got two drops of water right there. Okay, let's just watch. You see it's starting to frost up. It's about halfway frosted up. You can barely see it right now. Okay, it's completely frosted pretty much. And I'm going to take my finger and just, look at that, that's ice right there, it's ice, it's ridiculous, my finger gets wet and now it's, it's so cold it's sticking, alright, so anyway, that, that's basically it, real cool device, this cost me about $12.50 to make, um, just need to buy the Peltier, and nice heat sink, some fans, uh, get some thermal paste because you want to use a lot of thermal paste and a uh, some JB Weld. So let's just get one more temperature reading. Five point nine degrees. That is ridiculous right there. Seven point one, six point eight. It varies a little bit, of course. Oh, that, that last reading was six point eight degrees. That's ridiculous. It's at 9 volts. You want to let's bump up the voltage and see what we can get out of it. Yeah. 
doesn't want to take much more than nine right now. Okay, so there you go. See, real, real fun project to make. Um, now from this, what you can do is with this cold side. I'm personally going to use it for a motor cooler for my RC cars, but I have heard of people using this for um, cooling drinks and RVs. They actually have these, like in cup holders, right at the bottom. They have a heat sink on the bottom with a fan, and it, it's a drink cooler, or you can flip it around and make it a drink warmer, or any variation of that. But you can see all the heat gets drawn to the heat sink. The heat sink is getting pretty hot. But great project project you can make. So definitely would recommend it if you're needing something for a science experiment. Or 3.9. It's ridiculous. Let's see what this piece of ice is. 6.2. That's crazy. Bye. Thank you for watching.